Hey guys, it's Joe here from Joe's VMS, back with another video. And uh, today we're just going to be doing another day in the life video, really. Um, I want to take you through sort of a day in the life of a part time card seller. Today's a Saturday, so obviously it's a break from the 9 to 5 uh, weekday job. So I've been in the morning this Saturday doing some business stuff. So I thought I'd take you through what I've sold, what I've been buying, and some exciting plans for the store. Just show you what goes into sort of like the business and how I go, go about my day to day when it comes to these sort of things. We've bought some cool things, some stuff, cool stuff to take you through. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Stick around and I'll see you in a second. So the first thing I wanted to show you was obviously just the mail. Um, this is all the stuff that's come in over the past week. We've got some cool stuff, but I thought I'd show you everything just so you can get a gist of sort of like what I buy, what I sell, and sort of how I make my money really. So we actually ordered in a few of these. These are some Spider-Man heroes and villains, uh, sealed trading card packets. And these are actually the Polish variations. You probably, none of you are probably really that familiar with this set, but it's one of the sets that I stock on my store and it does pretty well. Uh, there's quite a few collectors of it in Eastern Europe, actually. It was released in Russia, um, and I think in a few of the Eastern European countries, and also Poland. Um, so there's a good collector base for these sort of cards. And I just bought in a big box of packets of these. These just go straight into my store buy it individually um, at some point just sort of like every now and then these sort of things just appear out of nowhere and you just got to buy them when you see them because they'll be gone before you know it like the, the supply of this stuff isn't that that large the things like this the seal packets especially from the sort of 2000 to 2015 era it's just not that hard to, it's, sorry it's quite hard to find so that's the first thing the second thing is an exciting one it's actually a huge box of um, sports cards, mainly football slash soccer. Um, I'll take you through some of the good stuff once I've unpacked it all. But yeah, this is all part going towards what I will show you in a second is an exciting development for my shop. But I'll show you that in a second. Um, it's all sorts of things. So I think there's lots of the base at the top, but if we go a bit deeper, I think there's probably some, yeah, there's some like good stuff here, for example. I'll take you through it now. There we are. So like, for example, there's an RVP. Um, Immaculate Auto to 12, which is nice. We've got another Immaculate card there, Bastion Swineshiger, that's a patch. Not numbered, but it is match worn, which is good. Um, a Forsberg, uh, Finest Auto, Gold. Uh, this guy, Avado Auto, just good, good sort of stuff. And then the slabs here, I'll show you this one's here, isn't it? An SA Silver from Premier League Prism 2020. So yeah, a bunch of things which I'll take you through in a second. So that was the second delivery. And the final delivery was some James Bond cards. Um, these are a big part of my store. This is a sealed packet which came free. And then basically it was just basically bulking out some of my singles listings. So there's loads of like, singles in here. And I, these can bulk out my like buy one get one free offers on my shop. So I thought I'd just quickly take you through some of the cards that um, were in that big lot that I bought. There's a lot of good stuff actually. Um, I'll start with some slabs, like some various slabs. Nothing like mega high end, a few MGC slabs for example, but stuff that will definitely sell, like quite liquid cards, um, stuff that if you put on your eBay then they probably sell at some point. A few really nice things like this Lewandowski for example, um, and a bunch of other things. This is pretty nice, a Verna to 5 patch, which is a cool, pretty cool patch. Um, Billy Gilmore, SGC9. Prism, Perillo patch, stuff like stuff like that will definitely sell. Raheem Sterling, that's not a great grade on that one, but we move. Um, Pineda rookie, uh, Pablo Torre rookie, for example, that's quite nice. That's 25. Uh, this guy, random Crystal Palace wonder kid, from Leaf one of one. To be honest, I don't think uh, he looks like 12, doesn't he? But yeah, good stuff like that. Through all of the sort of the raw cards as well as the graded cards and there's some good stuff there as well I'll take you through for example like for example you know picking something out around vincent company cost of materials national treasures that's pretty good i've got some small slabs here um what's this there we are uh, you, oh stefan jovetic to 75 of select um what we've got here let's get another one um james mcfadden motherwell probably not as good <laughs> Sorry, Motherwell fans. Um, a few other things here. Courtois patch, for example. The Acosta patch. Some good, like some good, like just some good stuff. Like it's all stuff that you're looking for. Mane match worn patch there. Um, I think I see a Totti there. Yeah, look at that. Totti Inception 25. 
that's good stuff. Like good 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 60 pound cards. And there was loads of raw stuff in there as well. Uh, let's have a look at the numbers, shall we? Um, Griezmann, Stadium Chrome, 2199, cool image, like just some cool things. Uh, Jao Felix, to 250, that's uh, the finest. So yeah, it was a really good lot in the end. The guy uh, was on Facebook and he just asked, you know, he said, he said are you interested? Um, he sent me a few photos. I didn't really have an idea of what was in the lot, in the lot completely, but um, I took a risk and it, it paid off. I mean, the best thing we got, I think, from the non-auto patch stuff was this Tariq Mitchell to five from Prism. Uh, that will definitely do well, for example. Decent little player, definitely a, a car that all pets will want. So yeah, really worth doing, uh, good little lot, um, and very happy with sort of what I, what I got in it really. It's almost like a mystery box in some ways, and it's quite fun to sort through and find things like this, for example. I also wanted to take the opportunity to do a sort of YouTube reveal, so before I even put this out on my socials or marketed it elsewhere, I'd like, I thought I'd give my loyal YouTube watchers, who are probably my sort of core fan base, I suppose, not fan base, you know what I mean? Cool watchers, I, I don't know what you call them. Maybe, maybe like cool like followers, I guess. Um, a look at a product that's coming very soon to the Jojo JMS store, and that is my very own mystery pack. These are some empty um, uh, like storage packs that I've had printed, which will the the mystery hits will go into. And then I need to put some cards in there and seal them at the top. And stuff like you've seen today, stuff like like this sort of look at this museum Billy Gilmore. That will be all be going into these sort of packages. Um, Tillman's Obsidian uh, patch, things like that. This will all be going into these packs. So what do you get in these packs? Where well, you get ten cards, and in each pack you get three numbered cards guaranteed, three unnumbered parallels or insert cards, and four base cards guaranteed. One in three will have an autograph or patch card, and one in fifty will have a one of one. We also had a ship my card will have come through recently, uh, early in the week. So I thought I'd take you through that as well. As you guys know, I'm very much into my Star Wars as well as my sports, so I thought I'd take you through some of our pickups. Most of them are from the 2014 Top Chrome perspective set, which was the first ever Star Wars Chrome set, which is why I like it so much. I've got like R2D2 here, Admiral Thrawn, Alpatine, these are all numbered to 199, these are the prison practice, as you can see here. Boba Fett there, Darth Vader, that's a good one, Yoda. C3PO, this is next character, which is number 299, SC5. We have another one here, I think. Yep, another extractor. Extractor Chewbacca. Leia there. SC9 to 99. R2D2. Uh, Palpatine. And a, another Chewbacca. This one is a the other version of his prism card. There you are. We also had a really big card coming as well, which I'll show you now. Um, in, the, in the order, part two of the order, and that was this um, 2021 Star Wars Galaxy Chrome Mos Eisley Cantina uh, Gem Mint 10 Super Factor. So, this is one of one, as you can see, the artist by Bruce Sick. Um, this is the first ever Galaxy uh, set for Star Wars, um, and obviously, there are only 100 cards in the base set, so only one Super Factor of each base card. Um, so I thought, like, if I'm ever going to get onto this set and properly take it seriously, I need to get a big card. And a lot of the Super Factors are now way out of my price league. So this is one that was more in my price league, and I thought I'd pick it up last if I could. So these here are my orders for the week, guys. Um, we're starting with... We don't have much stock on this at the moment, actually. So a lot of the cards we're seeing right now are sort of TCG, non-sports. Like, you can see here lots of Doctor Who, some top here there. Probably the pick of the bunch of these. These are from the 2015 Top Stock to Who. This is River Song and Extinction Auto Patch. Not a real patch, that's a part of this narrative patch. You know, there's things the Top Stock can do. And then there's an Ace here as well, so if you order it. And also a Captain Jack, which is probably the pick of the bunch of all of them. Um, but also some other bits and bobs. I think there's a common misconception amongst like um, the probably social media that money is made by shipping big cards and it definitely is like there are lots of people out there who can ship big cards like people like Roth cards for example are known for just shipping four or five big cards but for most people and especially to get to that point like you have to do a lot of the groundwork and to do that you've got to sell lots of the 50p one pound cards I can't tell you how long I've been selling like um, 50p and one pound cards and doing that for basically probably about five years now 
people sometimes look at my posts and be like, oh, oh my gosh, how did you get that LA or how did you get that Star Wars card or that Miyato or whatever it is. I'm like, well, by building up loads and loads and loads of basically stock, by buying and selling loads and loads and loads of cheap cards. I think people are probably afraid to do that because they think that either it's a waste of time or it's going to take too long. But once you establish a really good infrastructure and you have those listings ready, you have those cards stocked in all the time, people will return to you for those singles. And then you find a more sort of continuous and regular flow of income. So my sort of like piece of advice, I suppose, for this video is if you're looking to start a card business, don't be afraid to focus on the low end. Focus on the £1, £2, £3 cards. And certainly over time, you'll find that you'll build, you'll build yourself a steady sort of income of flow or flow of cash. And that's when, when, it, then when, when you get to the point where you have some of that spare and you can invest that in some big cards, that's when you sort of get there. But don't be afraid to, in the short term just put in some of that trend work and do some of those cheap card sales. Because I can't tell you, for example, I've got one listing for a Doctor Who listing where I've sold like 3,000 cards which are all 99 p each. Obviously, you know, looking at that now, it's like, wow, that's like 3,000 quid before, you know, uh, like fees and things. But to get to that point, you've got to sort through all the stock, you've got to list it all, you've got to update the quantities every now and then, and you've got to pack up orders sometimes for one or two cards, which is only worth like a pound or two. But trust me, if you put in the work and, you can, and you're happy doing that and you enjoy it, which I do, then eventually you'll be able to get to those bigger cards. That's my piece of advice for this video, I'd say. So basically, it's the following day now, it's the Monday. Unfortunately, my audio cut out, so I... Um, I'm doing a little quick voiceover. Anyway, I was properly showing a day in the life today. Um, I got back from badminton. It's a fun fact about me, I play badminton. Um, so this is me jabbering on about the fact that I play badminton and I'm wearing this uh, Egypt shirt, which I bought in Egypt. And we get invaded by my cat. This is Storm. Um, so say hello to Storm, everyone. Um, she invaded the video. Basically, the reason I was recording this clip is because I had a package to show you guys, uh, which you can see on the screen now. Uh, so in the part of the video where I... I'm speaking, I'll unbox this video once the cat moves out of the way. Um, yeah, and also I do briefly, as I mentioned just now, actually spend some time showing off my shirt as well. I'm really proud of it. Basically, I went to Egypt recently, and one thing I always do whenever, whenever I go abroad is buy a shirt from the local like team or club from that area, and I bought one from the local team in um, Egypt, which was Al Alal or something like that. Or Al Ali, something like that. Sorry, I shouldn't know that really. But this was Z Zamalek, and I was showing off some holographics. Anyway, so this is me opening the package, um, and I'll just about take you through it now. So, guys, the first thing we actually got was a complete 2018 Panini Prison World Cup soccer set. Um, I bought this at an auction house. I didn't have photos of everything, so I'm going to go through the binder with you all now. I've only seen a bit of what's in here, but not everything. I'm quite excited to see if there's anything big in here, like obviously Mbappe's Rookie Prism, there's Messi and Ronaldo's in this set, obviously some cool inserts like National Landmarks and things like that, so be excited to see what's in here, so I'll go through it now. I know there's a complete base set, that's all I know, so there's Messi obviously at the top there, which is great, the Bruyne there, um, obviously the Brazil set, these used to be so expensive back in the day, Mohamed Salah there for Egypt, here's England, Harry Kane there. There's the Mbappe, so that's a big car, sort of value-wise. I didn't, I didn't pay much this lot actually. I got it for a bit of a bargain, so I was really happy when it arrived. Uh, loads of base here. I might flick through this really quickly actually. It's cool to look at though, I suppose. I don't even know how much a full base set we worth. There's Ronaldo. That completes sort of the trio with the big, big, big base cards in this set. Arguably, the 2018 set aesthetically is nicer than the 2014 set. I mean, just purely on aesthetics, not on significance, because the design of these cards is absolutely stunning, I feel like. Um, there's Morocco, Denmark, who just drew with um, England and the Euros. We look really, really, really rubbish. And there was a few autos. I saw that there was autos, but I didn't know what. So we've got Quadrado there, um, Paolo Wanchop. Who have we got here? We've got, that's a nice one. Kyle Hans Rimini, I think that's how you say it. He's on a couple of Ballon d'Ors, not probably not so nice and good for Sigurdsson. Uh, Border Diaw, he used to big, big, big like card off either back in the day, he used to be a real prospect. Ian Nacho, Moutinho. We've got uh, Matic here, Hernandez and Vieira, two legends of the game, really nice cards. We've got Sebastian Larson, Brian Ruiz, and Matthew Lecky autos there. And finally, Belotti and Alaba. 
So super nice little lot this, really, really cool. We've got a full set of the connections insert set. We've got a full set of the fundamentals insert set. These are really nice. We've got one of the um, cover cards there. And I, don't, I didn't see any of this in the photo, this is all the gamble. We have the National Landmarks, Wabi Kasri. That's so sick. So sick. From Tunisia. Um, that's an added bonus. I mean, I've definitely, definitely made profit on this lot, I think. New Era. Uh, full insert set, I think. Yeah. The, I don't know what these are. Scorers Club full insert set. Refractor there of this guy, Tassi Al Jassim. Um, and then the rest of them. Oh, and to cap it all off, look at that, we'll end it with that. We've got one of the Champions cards, this one is of Italy. It's a beautiful, beautiful card, look at that. Jeez. So there we have it, that was the first part of the little lot. And the second part, we actually had something quite different. We had a, um, this was a bundle of random cards and I was buying from the auction house anyway, so I thought, well, I'm not going to pay any more for the so I might as well see what they've got and they had these like a complete set of these cd cards from 2000 and uh, from 2000 euro 2000 southgate there these are official licensed cards but they're all dvds or cds or whatever really random they're kind of cool those are good players vieri um schmeichel there seaman and then there was loads of these pepsi and adidas cards there's like these promotional cards that were probably didn't release in asia back in the day with del piero a few beckons to Dan, so these will all do well as singles, I think, on the, on the old eBay or in possibly my mystery packs. In fact, some of the cards in this prism set will almost certainly be in those mystery packs. Um, to Dan, there, some more Pepsi cards, these ones with Beckham and Michael Owen, loads of Michael Owen, including one of him playing golf on Snooker, very strange. Roberto Carlos, Rivaldo, Tucare, um, Fernando Redondo. Redondo? I don't know who that is actually. Dwight York, sick. Del Piero, Ariel Ortega, and then some more of these like, premium ones this time. We've got Edgar Davids there, Beckham, Baron, um, and then more of the same people really. More Nedved there. Um, and yeah, and the Buffon there. And look at those backs advertising all those various Asian products. These trains there, Pepsi there. I don't know what that even is, but they're all Pepsi cards. Anyway, that was the little lot that we bought. Um, some really cool things in there to look at. I must say I'm surprised, pleasantly surprised by this lot of cards, some good autos and some cool uh, cards that will definitely sell well. So guys, I think that concludes the day in my life or day in my weekend of my trading card side hustle. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing like what I've been buying, what I've been selling, just a bit of the background as, as to what goes into sort of a day-to-day -day side hustle when it comes to trading cards. Be sure to, I don't say this enough, be sure to comment and subscribe to my videos if you enjoy them. I do put a lot of effort into them and I hopefully you get something out of them. Um, so yeah, please do engage in the comments. Let me know whether you're like trying to think or trying to start a business or want to do something like that. And yeah, anyway, for now, it's been good to speak to you all and I'll see you on the next one.